you watching this that want to start a YouTube channel? Can you just start? I don't want to hear the no. I don't want to hear the excuses. It's my main. When I say the main key to YouTube, this is the main key. I can. I don't want it to be blurry and like I can't see what you're doing. I don't want to keep going like this. Cloud needs to die. We don't. Cloud is just not it. Okay, be who you are and you'll make your way forward. Be your biggest promoter, put your channel everywhere. Because you're the only person that can achieve what you want. Okay. video interesting welcome to 2021 guys we made it out of a terrible year i'm just honestly grateful i hope everyone had a great new year's it was different but i hope everyone still enjoyed you know had a little boogie in their living room you know a little something a little dance you know i'm back at uni as you can see lockdown part 553 let's just pray for a better year you know 2021 is going to be a better year in jesus name because we cannot live such a bad year again even though the madness is going on in america right now hopefully that's the worst of this year today we're bringing out the planner we're bringing out the notes that i have you guys i'm becoming organized who even am i some video ideas oh cheeky sneak peek yeah so i've got all my notes for the video today i never wanted to do this video before because i was like i haven't even got to the level of where i want to get to on youtube so i didn't even know if i had the right amount of tips and stuff i was like i've done this for nearly two years for nearly three years even whoa it'll be like two years now it's gonna be three years and i'm gonna let me just give some advice on what i know i know a lot of people i know want to start youtube and i also know a lot of people who have questions about youtube because i get a few questions let me get my little bed out. Let me get all this information down for you guys and spill the tea, spill the gossip, spill the tips. So I'm gonna just get straight into it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. 2021, I want loyal subscribers. Like, comment. Let me know how you feel about my videos, what you wanna see, especially for this year and stuff. First thing, of course, is you need like something to video on. Like, I always say, I love watching people with good quality because it just draws me to the to the video better like good thumbnails and good quality as soon as I press it I don't want to hear like muffling and I don't want it to be blurry and like I can't see what you're doing see so if you can get a camera that is absolutely amazing I use the Canon G7X which is kind of pricey for what it is because people always complain about it to be honest I've had this one for a while and fingers crossed nothing has happened for me only some screws were loose but i just literally tightened them so maybe do some research on different cameras i know sony do some good cameras as well which might be cheaper this one was around like 600 and something i can't remember but i did split it with my sister because she does youtube too check out her channel if not you can use your iphone i've got an 11 which is actually very good quality and i know i think up to seven is good quality so anything with that you can use and just make sure like when you're editing you turn up the mic or something like that if this doesn't sound like it's good what microphone because i want to hear what you guys i want to hear the video i want i don't want to keep going like this i can see barely barely and my remote is being attacked because i'm constantly turning it down and turning it up and turning it down please and then second is good lighting you always need good lighting so if you put those two together your videos everyone will look at it like wow she knows what she's doing she got some good quality yes we love to see it my ring light was like 60 70 80 pounds i can't remember from that range but you these days you can get a ring light that's 30 pound or 27 pound which is definitely smaller than the one i have but it actually produced good lighting and it has different settings like warm cool tone neutral tone and all of that jazz like Back then they didn't even have it. Those two, sick. If you got those two, you're sorted, mate. It's my main. When I say the main key to YouTube, this is the main key. Okay. Consistency. Honestly, like this has taught me a lot. I have been quite consistent. I, I think, okay. These days I'd be slacking, but consistent. And I feel like that's what grew my channel because especially like I came from zero, like literally nothing 
not even anybody knowing I was doing this to just like where I am now, which I'm so grateful. Love you guys. One video on your channel will blow like or however many, but it will most likely be one video that will go out there and people will see more. So the mo more you post, the more chance, the better chance you have of people seeing that video. So if you post 365 days, 365 times people. Who is making noise? You have more chance of people seeing your video, so that's why people always say be consistent because anyone can find your video at any point now i've actually like, like one year ago i figured this out it's more like write what you want to do within that month or year i feel like month is um better like that month write all the videos you want to film or like ideas you want to film so that you never run out because i have that a lot like there's so many times i don't post this because i just don't know what to film for that week or I just don't think it's that interesting or I'm, I don't want to do it because I just don't think it's good enough. So I don't post, but these days I'm like writing down a list of video ideas I want to do. Go back to my old videos, try and figure out like things I could do similar, but make it different, make it 2021, you know. Like film a few videos, two or three, so that you can post those as you go, so that you have some sort of consistency going. And the more, you know, ideas you have down, the more videos you can put out there do you know what i mean like this is one thing like i've learned okay is views and you know motivation all of that jazz like sometimes honestly i am not motivated to do no videos because i'll be like oh my god i've put in so much effort into this video or like i'm so tired i'm doing so many things like working going doing work actual especially in my first year like the i was doing craziness like i even posted twice a week sometimes and I was doing a madness on top of the shifts I had and on top of the uni work I had. And I was like, oh, and I was getting annoyed at some time. Not even annoyed, I was just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I felt discouraged. I was like, does no one like me anymore? I don't belong here. I don't think I belong here. But we need to know, okay? 2021 is not about other people, it's about yourself. As long as you're enjoying making those videos, people will find you. They will come eventually and worry about how many subscribers you have at the beginning, how many views you're getting at the beginning, because everything's a process, it's just, you've got to keep going. If that's what makes you less motivated, then you're not going to get really far, because as soon as you stop, you've lost. I feel like a nice background is really nice. Like, I really, in, I'm enjoying this background right now. Do you know what I mean? It's giving me homey, it's giving me sit down vibes, cozy, grab a cuppa. I should have lit the candles in the back. And maybe put a picture in the damn picture frame that I haven't put in since I've moved here. But you know, we can ignore that and just take in the plants and the warm tones and the white. I don't know, it just makes people want to see the video more. Like when you have a plain background, I feel like it's just too much mug shot, too much like photo shoot, like what is going to happen in this video? I need something exciting, what's going to happen? And that includes nice thumbnails. I think they're so important. Thumbnails are basically the picture that you guys see before pressing the video like the reason you press this video and like put in what's gonna be in the video on your picture like for example when I do clothing videos I like to show a few of the outfits sometimes or I show like the bag of what I'm gonna um, be talking about so that you know you guys can have a clue what's gonna happen in this video without even reading the title and you see those people that do be doing thumbnails like this Yeah, the reason they do that is because for some reason psychologically that draws us in. I can't remember the reason, I think I even searched it up. But it draws us in because they're like, oh my god, what's going to happen in this video? Wow, why are they so shocked in this video? And people always say find your niche and find your what you're good at, la 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 la. But I don't believe in that. As you can see, my channel is nearly a, it's a lot of things yeah and i feel like you shouldn't stick to one thing because that just puts you in a box and people be wanting that one thing and as soon as you don't do that one thing people be like right do you know what i mean and i don't like i don't want to be stuck in a box i don't think anyone should be stuck in a box they're stuck in that thing because that's the most views then they're not really here for you they're just here for that one thing do you know what i mean so i like to I like to do different types of videos so people can understand my character, who I be. If, you, if this is the first video you're stumbling on, uh, it's kind of boring. I promise you, I'm not this like put together. So 
I feel like don't stick to one thing but stick to a couple of things that are similar so people know what they're in for don't be going crazy do you know what I mean but I feel like everyone should follow you for who you are and not for exactly what you do all of you watching this that want to start a YouTube channel can you just start I don't want to hear the no I don't want to hear the excuses start the mother effing channel all right okay because I'm sick and tired of people telling me they want to start the channel but they're scared blah, blah, blah. that was me two years ago I really wish I carried on my channel from year eight the further you wait the less comfortable you're gonna get with the camera the less people who will be interested in you well not all the time but like most of the time like you have to build your following and the more you wait is the less time that will be built so I really do wish I started ages ago. I know people are gonna start looking at their competition and be like, it's too, like, too many people are doing it. But not too many people are you, like just be who you are and people will like you for you. There's so many brands that do makeup and people will be still coming out with makeup brands, do they not? Of their own or clothing brands and stuff, people have the same clothes but we still be buying it. It doesn't matter how many people are on this platform, you are not on this platform. Wow. Did someone call a motivational speaker? I need to change my degree. <laughs> yeah, don't look at your competition and be like, oh my gosh, they're doing so much better than me. And like, oh, no, 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 that's me talking to me. <laughs> your time will come. God's timing is best timing. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you need to have some sort of platform or, you know, you can't start without like posting anywhere else. Like, you need to build a platform for yourself so people to get to know you and who you are and stuff. So I advise Instagram, I'm surprised if you don't have these things, but uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, every platform that you can possibly use, use it. So people do always advise to like do trends, that videos that are like trending in the moment. I don't even know what's trending right now. When you're doing a trending video, everyone wants to watch it. Everyone wants to see what's going on. It's just like the same when there's a new fashion out or something, everyone wants that outfit. So if you want to build quickly, obviously make it still yourself and make it who you are. But like you can jump on trends, obviously still do videos that you want to do. Don't ever just do all trends just to get people's attention because yes yeah, it's, it's too needy you know just don't be doing all these things just to grab people's attention and clout needs to die we don't clout is just not it okay be who you are and you'll make your way forward don't try rise to the top quickly because you will fall quickly just saying you shouldn't put some crazy name like mastermind 53 because no one's gonna want to be calling you mastermind 53 all the way until you blow and become like imagine you're 30 and your name is mastermind 53 tell me if that would make any sense do you know what i mean unless you want to have mastermind 53 do what you want to do but uh i'm just saying <laughs> most likely just put your name for your name you know that's your brand you are you so just put your name it doesn't even matter always tell people to subscribe 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 keep reminding people always put it somewhere in your intro in the banner like somewhere on your screen subscribe you know like comment and subscribe it's i feel like it's become like a song now it's become like people don't even hear that part anymore because it's so used to be like like comment and subscribe right let's go I feel like that part, like people don't hear, but I mean it. Subscribe. And the more you say it, the more people actually realize, oh, I haven't subscribed. Or, you know, don't be too annoying. I'm not gonna lie, because that was a little annoying of me. Like, forgive me. Nearly at the end. I do have a few cons. Like, I have said a few of the cons already. Like, you will not blow in two minutes, please. I'm telling you now. YouTube. <laughs> you have to do it because you love doing it. It is the most money taking time consuming like frustrating thing but it's something i love so much that i just would do it forever fingers crossed it's so much work i i don't think anyone understands unless you are a youtuber or you're in like some sort of business that's when you understand when you're actually in the position of it doesn't just look you don't just wake up you know get ready and be like yeah let me just shoot a video blah blah blah, blah, blah. done like and then post it it's really it looks easier than it is bearing in mind i've only done it for two years and i'm not even that big at all so it's like imagine 
the bigger YouTubers. It's like, wow. It's an investment, just know that. But in Jesus' name, it will all come back. Amen. Like I said about editing apps, like, there is a free editing app that everyone, a few people still use, so it's called iMovie. But I don't even know how to use it, like, apparently it's meant to be the easiest one, but I don't even know how to use it. I use Adobe Premiere, which is, you do have to pay monthly. And there's Final Cut Pro that I want to get one day. Apparently it's not even that good, but I do really, really want to have Final Cut one day. But it is expensive. That one you just pay in one go. I think it's like £300 or from £100 to £300, I can't remember, it's, it's mad. But um, there is a 90 day trial if anyone wants to go for it. iMovie is the um, easiest one to use, like if you're a beginner, it's the easiest thing to use. Not for me, I'm really just, maybe I'm not clued up there because I don't know how to use it that well. People always say that I'm quite good at editing. And I'm like, I didn't really, the only thing I did was, I watched so much YouTube when I was younger that it, I could see what they would edit and how the movements they would use and the sound effects they would use and guess and then put it into my videos literally whoa calm down jamal and then over time i've just learned how to use like different tabs and open different things and try it out why am i sounding like a croaky bat <laughs> yeah! Yeah! So good! And if like i didn't know what to do all i would do is literally type on youtube adobe premiere like how to zoom in adobe premiere and there'll be someone out there thank god to those people There'll be someone out there that's like showed you literally just how to do that. Watch people that are you're, what you're interested in, like clothes. I love clothes, so I'm always watching people who do hauls and stuff like that. But I also watch vlogs. I love vlogs and stuff like that. So watch people that are similar to what you do, so that you can see like what's in the game, what kind of competition, what kind of help ideas can you use. The other downfall: me checking my notes like I'm in a lecture. The last point I have for like which is hard, is that YouTube is a one-man show. I hope everybody knows that. Like, you do everything yourself, okay? You are your lighting person, you need to check if the lighting's good. You are your camera person, you need to check if your camera's on or not. You are your interior decorator, like, you need to make sure everything looks good in the background. You are your editor, you are your manager. You are your own everything, which is a lot for one person to take on. It's only down for as well. But overall, just love what you do. Let me tick my last one, my last box. I hope that helped. If you guys have any more questions you want to ask, um, leave them down below. And if it's like quite a lot of questions, maybe I'll just do a part two. I do want to do this video again in a couple of years and see where I am. If I've changed some of my points and see if I've learned some more points, which I think I will. Be your biggest promoter, that is also one of my biggest tips. Be your biggest promoter, put your channel everywhere, everywhere. You yourself, you need to be your biggest promoter because you're the only person that can achieve what you want, okay? Wow, I should become a motivational speaker. I should. Not to boost my own horn, what's it? Boost my own someone, horn? It is horn. Pump my own brakes. What is it? I, I don't even know. I love you guys so much and I'm gonna go and eat some food. So I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye.